Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. With me here is Andy, the Aussie Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> He's uh, been in many of my reviews uh, over the years. I'm uh, up in Harvey Bay at his uh, residence and uh, we're having a look at a beer from Cambodia, Angkor, which uh, comes in at 5% alcohol by volume and it's uh, brewed and canned by Cambrew, a subsidiary of uh, the Carlsberg Group over in uh, Cambodia. Now, I've never had a Cambodian beer before, but uh, yeah, this one has found its way to our shores, so I thought I should probably review it. Have you ever had that? a Cambodian never, beer ever. before, no, Andy? No, I've no? never actually seen that can. Yeah, so, mm. yeah uncharted territory. So. Yeah, so, you know, seize the opportunity while you have it because, you know, these things never last very long in Australia, unfortunately. True. yep. Yeah. All right, well, uh, let's crack these. Uh, they look like 355 or... No, actually, they're probably 330 mil. Can, yeah, 330ml cans, yeah. Open, okay. Get it all out into these uh, Pilsner glasses. All right, so let's get a look at the appearance of this one. Yeah, light golden light colour. Golden, yeah, very effervescent. Yeah, relatively clear. About the same amount of head you got. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about uh, not quite a finger. Even with a yeah. fairly aggressive pour, too, on that yeah. one. Yeah. So. Mm. Mm. All right, let's check out the aroma. Not much happening in the aroma. No. A very, very, very faint smell of sort of grain. Um, but you really have to reach for it. Yeah. Grainy, slight, multi, not really. Yeah, yeah. Maybe more like, you know, yeast, really. Like, yeah, 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 that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeasty notes. Mm. All right, well, uh, let's jump to the most important part of the review, the taste test. So uh, cheers to you, the audience. Cheers. And cheers to you, Andy. Let's dive in. Mm. Mm. So what are your initial impressions? Oh, yeah, that's that's something different. I don't think I've actually ever tried anything like that before. It's, mm. um, I don't know what it is, but I, I, I don't know how to sum that up. It's It's got this sort of smoky note to it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That is like Especially a, the aftertaste, after, yeah. after you've um, mm. tasted it, there is that smokiness. It's, yeah. it's really peculiar. Anyway. Let's have another sip. Yeah. Yeah, no I've, real bitterness to speak no, of. No, no, there's nothing mm. untoward there. It's just, mm. yeah, d different. Kind of dry as well. Very dry, yeah. Mm. And, um, yeah, but it hasn't got the sort of bready malt flavour. It's got this sort of smoky sort smoky of... Smoky after notes. I yeah, think, this like, sm like slight yeasty yeah. sort of note with this sort of smoky sort of aftertaste that lingers <laughs> yeah. in the palate does linger yeah, yeah that's right i don't know it's it's got there's a sort nothing, of like there's a bit of a not bad there's a bit of a sort of bread dough um yeah yeah sort of taste <laughs> you know like if you just ate like a clump of like <laughs> yeah, bread dough. It is. yeah <laughs> <laughs> well summed up <laughs> yeah it's it's interesting on, to say the, the least yeah. On the, um, the aroma, it was just a pretty flat and yeasty, but then on the taste, it was just very smokiness. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it really takes you by surprise. Um, yeah, I was not <clears throat> expecting anything like this at all, to be <laughs> honest. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so is it drinkable? Well, I suppose. I mean... Yeah, it's yeah. definitely drinkable, but... Yeah, it's, but um, I don't know if I could really session it, to be honest. Like, no, um, I wouldn't. Mm. It's just... No. Hmm. Sorry for me, just lacking that degree of just subtle sort of sweetness that you know, and body that you sort of need. Oh, you know that in a good brew, yeah. Yeah, in a brew that really sort of want to, you know, you know, drink, uh, you know, a uh, a multitude of them. Yeah. Something for change, for a little bit mm. of indifference. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. Not bad. It's definitely all. interesting to try. Mm. I mean, it's not awful, but. Um, it's got a very distinctive, you know, taste of its own. It does, like, very distinct. Perhaps it's being, you know, crafted for, you know, local local tastes or something there. I'm not really sure. but You would think so, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's and definitely got that uh, dry can, night it's, going. It's, it's yeah. won some awards. Yeah. So, um... Mm. Yeah. Well, it looks like it, uh... You know what, 2016 and 2019. Mm. Yeah, and of course you've got the mandatory sticker that they have to slap on in Australia. Oh. You know. <laughs> to explain, you know, it's uh, where it originates from. Yeah, I guess, oh, well, most of this text is in, like, um... Or Cambodian, obviously. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, yeah, it's a different one. Hmm. I don't know if I'd uh, recommend it or, um, you know, even want to really like try it again. But um, no, it's probably yeah. not something I'll go out and purchase. So. No, but it's interesting to try, and it definitely has its own distinctive taste. So. You know, I give it points there. Um, oh, there goes the dogs. <laughs> Ducks yeah. flying over. Yeah. At that time of the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, yeah, this is a tough one. Uh, it's not awful, really. Um, what are you thinking? Score out of 10. Mm. Yeah. I mean, and it doesn't have a horrid sort of bitterness or anything like that. Um, just that sort of smoky note really sort of mm. takes you by surprise. You don't really know what to sort of make of that. Um, Not something that I'm used to anyway. Yeah, I'd probably give it like a, a 6 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree. Yeah, six, yeah, between 6 and 7. Six and yeah. A half. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, uh, anyway, thanks for joining us, folks. Um, we're just going to enjoy the rest of this and we'll be back again with another review for you all real soon. So uh, until then, fare thee well all.